Hello, everybody. Got a quick video. Marie and I were on the edge of contemplating going to a convention. Um, Days of the Dead, Chicago. For quite a while. Uh, we weren't sure exactly if we were going to go. There wasn't too many signatures we needed. Um, driving up and tickets and everything. I'm like... However, we went ahead and went anyways at the last minute. Um, we finally met a friend there, Mr. Eric Andrew um, from YouTube, Uneasy Andy. Uh, but you all know him a lot of it and within our circles. Uh, we finally met. He gave me um, some pins that actually I designed. And he's going to be having in his next boo box coming up. And I'm very proud of this pin, but I can't show you yet. But um, when the box, after the box is available, uh, we'll be having some. There's also another pin coming, which is going to be a companion to this pin. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you this, but teaser, spoiler, whatever you want to put it. But I'm, I'm actually proud of both pins. I think they turned out great. Um, I won't say what they are, but, you know, hang out with his social media or mine and we'll tease it for you later. Um, I think his uh, boxes will be shipping pretty soon. I'm not really sure. I know they close to selling out. Um, Should have got better numbers before I got on this thing, but I never plan anything. Let me get to the autographs. So a while back, um, this uh, celebrity actually asked us where we got the other two autographs. We have a poster for Jeeper Creepers. Um, and we had two previous... Uh, signers on here. Um, I think it's Gina Phillips and um, Nathan Long. Nathan Long? Nathan Long? Is his name Nathan Long? Anyways, he was in Accepted. He's also the main star in Human in Jeepers Creepers. But we got Jonathan Breck. Um, we thought, you know, green looked pretty, pretty sharp. He was saying another picture. I'm like, hey, Green looks cool. That's pretty badass, right? Kind of goes with the yellow. Yellow and green kind of go with each other. So that's cool. It's our poster. Don't judge us. <laughs> but we had the other two autographs here. We got these a while back. And I can't remember what we where we actually got them. Was it a Horror Hound Cincinnati or something like that? It's, we got them actually to say a little, little phrase here. What the hell is that guy's problem? My guess? Inbreeding. But he put the inbreeding gig, 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 gig. <laughs> whatever. Anyways, anyways, that one's cool. We got that autograph added to that. And then, since we were there, we got a movie that's I want to I want to say it's kind of uh, underrated, underpopularized, but I find it a very decent and fun movie to watch. Um, one of these. Both of these characters are actually, I want to dare say, more famous for other roles. Um, you've got one of the supporting actor. His name was Harold in the show, but George Went from Cheers, which is Norm. We all know him, right? And Mr. William Catt, who was the main actor in The Greatest American Hero. So, we got House. Um, this is George Went. Harold, he um, looked tired, really did, and uh, and Mr. William Cat put, I beat you and this goddamn house. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, there's that. I think there might be a couple floating around here and there we can add to this poster. So there's a lot of black space on here, which is good. So you know we'll be adding some more to that. Um. We got, uh, this actor was the, I guess, I don't want to use the word marquee name, but he was on the top of the list of, of uh, celebrities there doing signatures, and we needed him. The main reason I decided we should go was for a, a cast poster, what I'll show you in just a moment. But uh, Austin loves this guy, loves the movie, at least, maybe not the actor. But, I'm like, what do you want to get signed? Another 8x10? And I know we had a living dead doll floating around, but we, me, Norm, or I'm, 
Marie nor I have ever seen this movie before. And it's like 50 years old, I think. A Clockwork Orange. And Malcolm McDowell. I went brain fart for a minute. Malcolm McDowell. says, Austin, Malcolm McDowell in orange. Apparently, he might have been signing a few of these because he just pulled the orange marker out and knew which one to use. But we thought this was pretty cool and a little different. So now, Austin will have a Malcolm McDowell signed Living Dead Doll. We have been working on this poster for a while. And I'm going to show you the poster here. It's pretty big. We've got all kinds of signatures on it. From the top to the bottom, to the left, to the right. But if you look at the brightest silver, right in the middle, you got Dr. Loomis and Malcolm McDowell right above Mr. Tyler Maine. But uh, let me see how many autographs we have on here now. There's one, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven. Um, I know if we make it to Days of the Dead in Indianapolis, the trucker, the truck driver will be there. Um, we'll definitely be adding to this. He's the one in the Rob Zombie's Halloween that Michael Myers acquired his overalls in the film. And he kind of roughed up the guy uh, in the um, bathroom stall. It wasn't very nice. So... Anyways, what'd y'all think? Uh, not a lot going on. It was pretty mellow. Um, at the con, you know, overall, uh, my opinion was is there wasn't a lot of unique names as part of it. A lot of the names were people you've seen in many, many other cons. Plus, it was another con, Midwest something con this weekend also, which might have drew some of the audience away. So, it, it was nice, though. Plenty of room, walked in, walked out, and we were done in, I don't know, an hour or two. So, mission accomplished. All right, let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.